Hello and welcome to another mediocre moment with our mint generation of Not So Berry. So first of all, checking in with Taryn and filling you in on the things that you may have missed that happen in between. Um, for those wondering how you would know what happened in between, if you check the links down below in the description, you will find a link to my blog. On that blog, I post stories in between what happens in this series. Um, Taryn is part of my 54 generation legacy family, and so that story is all there in the blog. And in between episodes, I do some additional content there, like all of the the little things that I play in between episodes. There's there's always, especially in series like this, a lot of um, things that are maybe not always necessarily inter interesting enough to put into a video, but definitely little tidbits of information that you might want to know. Now, I will say we did have something kind of unexpectedly interesting happen. Um, when she was at work, she was given the task to contact aliens, and we did end up on Sixum. That is something I had hoped to save for a video, but I was not set up to record at the time, and um, so I went ahead with it, but we will visit Sixum again when we go back to work the next time. But if you want to see what happened, check the link down below for the blog. Um, one of the things that she brought back from Sixum was these orb plants. And so she planted a bunch of them and they are doing quite well here. And you know, they they kind of add to the aesthetic of the house, I, I guess. Um, also, you might notice that things have kind of been slowly updated here. Um, we've added flowers and plants and like a cozy little place to sit out front, all of that kind of thing, you know, just trying to make it feel a little more cozy. Um, I've done the same thing inside. We have made very good money at work, so I have been slowly adding to this, and you can see some of those changes as well on the blog, see as things have come together. So we've gotten a rug and some plants and lamps and added a table back here for them to play games. Um, they both seem to really enjoy doing puzzles. Uh, in the dining room, we have switched out to a completely different table and a hutch and added some benches and stuff. Really coming along here. I'm pretty happy with how that's looking. In the kitchen, I kind of slightly adjusted this and expanded this wall outward so that we could put a little cabinet over here. It felt more complete than just having the fridge sitting over here. And as part of that adjustment, I also put in this little window seat kind of thing. I kind of started out putting a bunch of plants here, and then I saw that I had this window seat set up, and yes, this would be incredibly low for a window seat, but I could definitely see this being a great place to kind of just curl up with your legs crossed and hang out and chat with whoever's cooking, maybe sit here and read a book or something. It just, it felt like a very cozy space for the kitchen. And I just did a little bit of additional decorating there. Heading upstairs, we have kind of readjusted the office space. I did find the additional um, element that was missing from here. There is one additional one that comes from a pack and they never adjusted this to fit that, but um, we do have that. And I decided to grab the crystal tray or crystal creation table here. I figured with her bringing home all of these, Atlas is already here. Sure, Atlas, you can come and hang out still. Um, I figured with all the crystals and everything that she's always digging up, that it seemed like a natural progression for her to adjust to doing that as a hobby. So that is something that Taryn is now doing. Um, in here, we kind of, again, made a few small adjustments. Um, I think the rug is new since the video, and I think the dresser is new, possibly the workout machine. Uh, same deal kind of over here. I <laughs> took out the workout machine that was in here and added this library. Um, although she does work out, it feels like Lily is more the active one and it made more sense for her to have the exercise equipment in her room. And 
the library-like space in Taryn's room. So just simple changes, but and we also completed the bathroom upstairs. Um, probably my favorite piece is the cat holding everything and, you know, double sinks, that sort of thing. It is a bit of crazy um, when we go to the tile work, but I kind of love it and I think it, it looks great in here. Um, it does feel somehow still a little empty, like I'm missing something, but we'll work on it over time. I think it's mainly that it needs some kind of um, additional like artwork or something like that. I don't know. We'll figure it out in time. I also bought them some vacuums um, so that we can finally keep the floor clean because it was getting pretty gross around here. And I think that is it as far as the updates on the house. All right, and Taryn has also been working on her aspiration, which means um, getting the to level uh, 10 now of the mischief skill. Uh, that one has been way harder than I had counted on. It's, it's not one that I've had this much trouble with, but to be fair, I um, have a lot of mods that intentionally make things more difficult and I've also got settings for skills um, arranged because I have the longer lifespan I make it so that it's harder to get skills so most of that is on me but I have been surprised with as mischievous as she is how hard it has been for her to get that. Um, looking at the list of goals for Generation Mint we have to master the science career. I'm gonna go ahead and pause here for a moment which we have done and we've actually received a promotion one step above that. So we're making 398 simoleons an hour. We're bringing home the dough, that's for sure. We need to live in Strangerville as a young adult and continue living there. We've definitely got that covered. Um, I don't know if she will stay here her entire life. I, I still debate whether this will be her final home. I debate whether, you know, perhaps she'll move back with her dad or something like that. Um, if she and Lily will continue to live together or if Lily will move out. These are all things that I'm not 100% sold on yet on any one decision. So if you have feedback on what you think you would do, I'd love to hear it. Um, we have to complete the elements collection, which we have done. We have to prank seven people. I'm sure we have done that in spades. So not concerned about that. Um, we do have to make three enemies. And Molly um, became a bit of an enemy. Uh, again, check the blog. We, uh, <laughs> we took her to the bluffs and tried to set her on fire with the voodoo doll and managed to only destroy the voodoo doll and it did kind of destroy the friendship that Molly had for us because she kind of started on fire um wasn't thrilled about that I can't imagine why and uh so they ended up in a fight and she is now a declared enemy so we do have one official enemy there and we have Amy Prescott who I believe is her sister so we have something against the Prescotts I, I don't know what it is but um, that is our second enemy. So we need one more enemy. It did say to assign the voodoo doll to one of them. We did have it assigned at one point, so I'm going to go ahead and count that. Um, we do have to have one child. And I have decided that I would like for her to have a child with her friend. But I don't think that they will live together. So... That's kind of the decision I have come to, although I am not finding... There she is. So she and Madison will have a science baby together, but Madison will not live at home. I think it will be interesting to kind of have Generation Rose, the second generation, kind of live between the two families, just to kind of add a little more dimension to her life story. So 
I'm not exactly sure how that will work out yet, but it's definitely something that I am kind of planning for the future of Generation Rose. Obviously, when the baby is still young, we'll need to stay here, but I believe you can move them back and forth more easily once they're an infant. So uh, I'm not sure what the schedule will be there yet, but I think basically once we've completed the mint generation, it'll be easier for us to move back and forth because we won't have to worry about what Terran needs to complete. And we need to master mischief and logic. We're doing pretty decently on both of those. Fortunately, it is a good thing that Terran enjoys doing puzzles because those actually help increase logic. Plus, the majority of her work life does kind of do that as well. Anytime she's working on the machines, it's increasing logic. So not doing too badly there. We're halfway to nine on mischief. We'll, we'll get there. Um, I think we need to increase how much she's being mischievous, but I, I'm fairly confident we can do that. And then, of course, we have to complete the aspiration, which at this point we are on the final stage of it, and we just need to get that mischief skill. So once we get the skill up, you know, we, we'll have kind of the two birds with one stone sort of situation. Okay, so I'm going to have her get some quick sleep because she starts work in a minute. Never mind. I guess we are going to work. While we're loading, I just wanted to also mention with Lily, I will be having her quit her job. Um, there was a comment, thank you very much for the comment, and I thought it was a great idea of having Lily go into something a little bit more creative. So, one of the things mentioned was having her do the flower arranging, um, the skill and the table and all of that. Um, and it does make sense as far as, because Taryn is also doing a lot of gardening, so they could have worked together. Um, and the other was to do freelance writing. And I think I've actually decided on the freelance writing one. And the reasoning behind that is because one of Lily's talents, um, which is a Talents and Weaknesses mod that I have installed, um, so it gives her a natural ability at writing. She's actually very talented at writing. And so that is kind of what helped me to decide which direction to go. So she will become a freelance writer. We'll kind of deal with all of that later. But for now, moral choices. There comes a choice when one must become a benevolent scientician or a malefactor of knowledge. Good and evil, that sort of thing. Will you help your fellow scientists or foil them at every turn? All right, so we need to calibrate the Electroflux wormhole generator, which we have hanging out over here. Um, it has been a lot more convenient having her... Oh, actually, I need to put that back. Having her keep her things at work so then we don't need to worry about whether or not we have the things that we need here. And I'm not continuously told that I need to remake something. Um, we... Really, <laughs> I am thinking of making Gadget um, one of our enemies because things with Gadget have been declining quickly. Gadget just seems annoyed by our presence every time we're at work. Um, other than that, I think most of our coworkers we get along with pretty well, other than Devante. I don't know why we have an issue with Devante. I it makes sense why we would with Gadget, but, um, yeah. Let's see. We need to write up research on the computer. Not exactly the most exciting task, but a quick one to complete. I have been really trying to focus on getting her promoted, even though she doesn't necessarily, um need to get any further promotions. I, I'm kind of enjoying her having the income and it makes sense because she is a materialistic sim that she would really want to make sure that she's making the most money all the time, every time. It, it just, it would be her. I, I'm gonna actually go ahead and order a rose 
so that I can mix up that tainted serum. I think Donna's flirting with us. It, it's a little concerning. Um, I, I'm not sure how I feel about the fact that uh, we have such a weirdly close relationship with Don. He's quite a bit older than us, and it seems a little strange that he's he's so flirty with her. It's, yeah, she's not into it. Um, Bryce, we are at work. We cannot go shopping with you. That's, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry. It's just not going to work. We gotta find Devante. Or, or Bimo. Um, okay. Coworkers. Devante, focus on... Devante, do you do anything but swim? That's what I want to know. Okay. I guess we're gonna try to talk to Bimo. At least he's not in the water. Um, ask about Day. She, again, I, I cannot understand this has a very high, uh, like, great reputation. I just, I'm baffled by this. With as much as she does to other people, it's, it's amazing to me that <laughs> her reputation is so high and that everyone just adores her. I think I forgot to mention this one, too. Um, they celebrated um, the beginning of the year. And so she made the resolution to become pregnant. So she also would be happy to have a child and all of that. So it does make sense that we might want to pursue that relatively quickly. Um, we do have to hope that we make enough money in order to be able to do that. But okay, prevent abductions. All right, heading up to the satellite dish that we installed up here. And prevent abductions. How does that make us famous? Interesting. All right, and then we're gonna mix that tainted serum. Um, let's do the rose perfume. This will keep the aliens from abducting us for sure. Now I have considered the fact, and I've I've used MC Command Center, which is the the major mod. To set it, now normally um, when abducted, it's only the male sims that can become pregnant through alien abductions. I have it set so that it can be male or female. So if that were to happen instead, I would not be upset about it and I would let that happen. Um, but the other option is, as I discussed with your friend Madison, what happened to Don? Where is Don? That was... Oh, Don's over there. Okay, that makes more sense. I'm like, when did Don's hair turn blue? Okay, let's see. Gossip. Let's gossip about... That would be such a Don thing to gossip about, is office romance. She is exhausted. I need her to sleep. I, I know I promised we would go to Sixum, but... I... Don't know... Freeze an enemy? Do we have an enemy here at work? Um... Yeah, no. Um... Okay. Actually, you probably have... Oh yeah, you have way more than enough rewards. We can go ahead and get you a Moodlet Silver. And then I'll just have her work on that rocket for 10 minutes. Her needs should be... Yeah, her needs are amazing now. And maybe... Yeah, we've at least gotten to the second part, so maybe I'll have her go ahead and pay a visit to six of them, um, and hopefully we get some new tasks when we go there. Okay, it's kind of weird. We only have two options now. Um, and one of them really can't do. So we're just going to go ahead and travel to an alien world. Alright, here we go on the exciting world um, I will say the first time we came to Sixum, they had some kind of weird party going on here and fang flowers. And uh, yeah, it everything was covered in like a basically a bar, <laughs> but the weirdest bar you've ever seen. If you'd like to see those pictures, they are also on the blog. Um, basically part of the video that, or the bit that I did on 
showing her trip here, the first trip. These are the first time these fang flowers are available though. So we're gonna go ahead and collect everything that we can and then head back. I was hoping we could see somebody, but it's looking a bit barren here. I mean, she found an alien, but I guarantee it's one of the kind of, ooh, that is a creepy. I don't think I have ever seen the fang flowers before. That's so weird. She did find another geode. I don't know if you noticed that in um, earlier I was showing off the updates to the house and the shelf in the hallway or the entryway. Um, I have started displaying all of the geodes she found there. This alien flower has quite the defense mechanism. It looks like it wants to bite you. Um, yeah, it, it has teeth. It's a pretty solid assumption. All right, so Taryn's workday is going to end soon. I had hoped that we would get new tasks when we came here, but apparently not. So yeah, I guess we'll, we'll take what we have and go home right from here. I can't complain, even without completing everything, we made 3,500. Alright, we are just days from aging up to a full-fledged adult and out of this young adult stage. And that combined with her wishing to become pregnant soon, I think we're gonna go ahead and jump the gun on this one a bit and really kind of talk to Madison about what we want to do and see if she is willing. Okay, so we are going to ask her to have a science baby with us. Let's see how that reaction goes. Um, I'll take that as a yes. Uh, Lily's not doing well. Lily, by the way, was... Um, <laughs> first, okay. Have science baby with, baby with Madison, Taryn Avonlea. We'll make a quick trip to the hospital and use her and Madison Bueno's genetic material to have a new baby through science. Are you ready to add a newborn to your household? Now, I do have a mod in... Um, that gives us an actual pregnancy, so we're going to actually go through with that. Um, I don't like the instant baby option. That doesn't make sense to me. Anyway, Lily was um, promoted in her job to covert operator. Atlas wants to come over. Sure, Atlas. Um, because we want to start kind of uh, exploring that a bit. We're going to have her come home. She's kind of just done with work. She's going to She's going to go ahead and uh, maybe we can talk about going out to get something. Let's see. Let's have a little bit of flirtation first and see how that goes. She's she's hungry. I know. I'm sorry. You are you are a mess. Um actually, how about you? Do you Yeah, you have enough we can do. We'll just say that um Taryn gave you a one of her moodlet solvers and you know okay yeah so we need to get you in a better mood okay okay he's into it he's into it all right let's let's go ahead and okay Taryn's resolution is complete um so congratulations Taryn is expecting there's going to be a new addition all right Taryn is now in the first trimester and should schedule her first prenatal visit all right, we can definitely do that. I think we will want to keep a very close eye. We have apparently disappeared. She's here, apparently. Not sure where, but... Okay, she's feeling flirty. We're going to go ahead and have you really work with that. Um, let's see. Compliments appearance. And... 
Everyone's just really wanting to get things going. Okay, so we're gonna hold hands. The energy is there today. Everyone just wants everything going there. I, what has happened to you? Can I teleport you or something and see if you just appear? No, we don't want to re-roll our wants. Okay, she's there, but not. I think we're going to try traveling with everyone and see what happens. All right, so Dad has been feeling a little bit of empty nest syndrome because Mora moved out and, um, you know, obviously Taryn has some big news to share. So we're, we're actually going to go ahead and uh, knock if it will let us so that we can get in, even though Dad is standing right out on the lawn waving at us. But um, I feel like if you meet someone on the lawn, you should be able to just head on in. But um, okay, let's see. Should probably... And we can't actually let an, anyone know about the pregnancy until we get an ultrasound. Interesting. Um, should have known that that kind of thing would happen. Um, oh yeah, um, mom and dad had a bit of a fire in the house. Uh, apparently they have not finished cleaning it up, but yeah, it, it was quite the thing. Um, I, I do share pictures on the blog of that as well, but uh, she came over to visit and they were just all hanging out here in the kitchen, and the entire time I kept hearing fire. And I'm like, where is that coming from? I don't see it. There's no alarms going off. Nobody was panicking. None of that kind of stuff. And yeah, so I shifted the view upstairs, and what do you know? It was, it was all on fire. Like, the whole bedroom was on fire. So I replaced everything that I could for them. There's still a few piles here. I guess the maid has not been around for a week or so, <laughs> but yeah. All right. So Lily's in love. Lily, you can, I mean, Atlas knows the family, so that's, that's not a big deal at all. Um, we're going to go ahead and, um, blow a kiss. Uh, are we not getting the actual kiss option? Oh, there we go. First kiss. Might be a little weird to have your first kiss at your, technically your parents' house, <laughs> but um, you know, this is Lily. She, she's kind of a little different at times. Also, it's a little weird having Taryn fully in her outfit here, but oh, she's feeling some things. We will have to make sure we get her off to a doctor's appointment. I'm glad we can actually see her now, though. Atlas, oh, we don't want to miss that. Oh, right there in front of everybody. <laughs> oh, are you hungry? Or itchy? What was that? It, your needs are fine. I think you're just itchy. Why are you itchy? Um, an itchy, a nagging, no relent. Lily feels a nagging, no, relentless itch below the belt. Um, apparently we need Lily to get to the doctor as well. Uh, I guess we can try to do that before either of them have work again. Um, get them both to the doctor. But at least we got, um, <laughs> at least we've got Taryn back in her visible state. And hopefully we can... <laughs> Help these two deal with their medical issues. Oh, poor Lily has a yeast infection. Uh, at least we can get some medication and get that cleared up. Well, we invited Madison along, but she showed up and then immediately left. So uh, I guess we're just going to have to um, do this ourselves. Okay, the ultra scan shows we're having a healthy baby boy. It looks like you're expecting one healthy baby. Everything looks good so far, but we'll continue to monitor your pregnancy and the baby's development to make sure everything stays on track. This is an exciting time and we're here to support you every step of the way. 
and as punishment for putting the only bathrooms all the way upstairs with no elevator, she's going to go ahead and clog a couple of drains while she's here too. <laughs> eh, might as well prank a couple of toilets. She'll leave one for herself. Never mess with an angry pregnant woman. <laughs> Especially one who's so mischievous. All that, and it's already almost time for her to head to work, so I'm going to let her try to get a nap before we head to work. I'm also very quickly going to have her quit her job. If I can remember. Alright, so we are going to quit a job. Um... Okay. Oh, were you edit? You must have been upgrading. Okay, so being let go from a job, whether through termination or layoff. Ah, uh, we're going to send you alone today. We're going to focus a little bit on Lily now that we have done so much with Taryn and... Okay, being let go from a job, whether through termination or layoff, can be devastating to a sim. There are career resources to help. Sims can file a claim for unemployment benefits under the career services menu on the computer. Sims can complete job training to brush up on skills any employer will value. Sims can take a career aptitude test to help determine if a career switch might be in order. Sims can find temporary work by signing up with the Temp Gigs Agency to help bridge the gap between paychecks. Um, because she's going immediately into another job, we're probably not going to mess with that too much, though it would be interesting. It might be something we do in a situation where we're not so sure about what we want to do. I think we can freelance through the typical find a job option here. I want to make it an official kind of option or choice to do freelance. Okay, we got to get you off to work too. Um, freelance. All right, self-employed. Fighting words, freelance writer. All right, you need to get up and get to work. And you have no daily tasks, apparently. We're gonna go ahead and select a gig. Author needed for Void Critters Volume 3. Co-writer for Kids Pet Time Stories. Get paid to write top 10 lists. Yeah, um, I think we will do the Void Critters. It doesn't make sense that she would write for anything to do with kids, to be honest. I don't really see her as much of, not a kid hater, but not much of a kid fan. All right, so we need to chat with the client. Um, ironically, the task that we have for this particular job is to write a children's book. So, so much for that plan. Um, I guess, you know, maybe she's just, she's writing about void critters, which is something that she enjoys, so... The fact that it happens to be for children doesn't bother her because she knows that plenty of adults also play Void Critters. Much like plenty of adults play Sims despite what some people like to think. Hi friend, I miss your face. Oh, that's sweet Bryce. Bryce is struggling with the idea of considering Lily her sis his sister. Um, you know, much like... You know, I... She's kind of technically a twin, I guess. Not technically, but she's she's a twin, but the family doesn't really see her that way. They they know that she's an entirely different person. Um, she may share genetics with her dad, but, you know, it's... He didn't raise her, he didn't know her, even though technically she has the same, like, things that are in common. It's, it's a thing. It's... It's very complicated for everyone. They're still adjusting to this whole idea. Um, okay, we are writing a Void Critter book called Void Critters Volume 2 or 3. So that would make sense to be the name of it. Taryn has a major deadline approaching and needs to find a way to knock it out. What should she do? <sighs> okay. She's a mischievous type, so, and not great. I mean, she's very social, so it would make sense, but I feel like she's also not great at telling others she needs help. 
Um, so she'd probably just hide out in a closet and play some video games or something on her phone. Just, I don't know. It just feels like the thing she would do. I think, she, you know, hormones and everything a little mixed up right now and not quite herself and just a lot going on for all of them. It, it It's a big thing. And somehow she manages to gain medium performance. Taryn darts to a nearby closet with a laptop and knocks out the work lickety split. With time to spare, Taryn struts out victorious and ready for the next task. So, so much for going in there and playing video games. She went in there and just knocked it out of the park. Go, Taryn. A cat is calling to let her know she's attractive. Um, ha ha. Taryn is already in her second trimester? How is that happening so fast? Oh, I actually forgot to point out that Miles has aged up and is now an adult cat. And and I can't get the these these corner circular things are really hard. They they bop all over the place um, when you try to focus on anything within a circular room. But there is Miles with his cute little bow. Um he he turned out even cuter as an adult than I expected. Um oh Lily needs to Lily just had a well visit. Congrats on landing that sweet job. Thanks, Bryce. Bryce is very supportive. Bryce has always been very supportive as a brother. Why are you thinking about diapers? Are you worried about the diapers you're going to have to change when um, Taryn has a kid? I mean, understandable. Uh, probably, you know, as being not a fan of kids could be a reason why Lily ends up moving out, but... Yeah, like I said, still, I, I love this house. I just don't know how I can make room for a baby here. Other than for them to lose their office. And I don't know that I want to do that. It would be an interesting room for a baby, though. Although, probably a bit crowded. <laughs> I don't know. We can, we can make a baby work for a while in you know, sharing a room, but I think by the time the baby is a toddler, it would get a little bit more difficult. And I will say too, um, having a boy for the red generation, kind of not what I had expected. I've typically seen people doing females for the red generation. I think it'll be, and even when I previously did this challenge, I had a female as well. It was, it was just what happened to be born, but um, I think it's going to be a kind of a fun twist to play with a male sim. And Taryn got a raise again. She's been given a raise for her superior work performance, an additional 16 simoleons an hour for a grand total of 414. She made insane money today. Um, Mora, wa whoops, Mora wanted us to come over and visit, and I think that's... Um, it might be a good idea to invite her over to visit us. I do dislike the fact that Artemis, or that um, Alice is not considered part of the family. It also kept showing that they were still preparing for their wedding, but they eloped like ages ago. So I'm not sure what happened there either. It's, it's kind of annoying and upsetting. But we're going to invite everyone over and more officially announce now her pregnancy. Um, <laughs> I think I should also get Madison over, let her know. And actually, might have been a good idea to have a baby shower, but we'll do that um, probably next episode. Uh, I'm hoping... <laughs> okay, they're, they're all excited, but I don't know what they're excited about. Um... Okay. <laughs> Let's go ahead and share with Bryce. Probably should have shared with Madison first. Oh, you're showing off the... Oh, I like it. I like that she shows the actual... I learned to spell pregnancy. Okay. <laughs> We're having a new boo! 
All right, you gotta share with Madison though. You should have told Madison first, to be honest. Okay, Mora. Um, hopefully you are happy with our news because we have big news for you. Maybe it'll put you in a better mood. All right. Oh, you're telling her. Okay. I wonder if we can display this once. Um, for a second, she looked upset about it, and I'm like, hello. You knew we were doing this. <laughs> you can't get upset about something you agreed to. Okay, she's excited. Yeah, I think we'll throw the baby shower in the third trimester. Um, probably let her get through another day of work here, but... <laughs> I think the way I have it set right now, pregnancy lasts... Uh, two or three sim days, so it's that's why it's going kind of quickly. Um, it's part of my aging scheme. Um, that part goes kind of quickly, and then other parts go longer. And I I've explained the aging in a previous video, so I won't bore you with that here. But okay, she's she's so. Oh, did it cancel or? Okay, you're gonna tell him yet. Now, I think this fridge has the ability to hang things on it. Can we... Uh, oh, it, uh, it, it... Okay. Wait, it's actually... It's actually kind of sitting up like a... Uh, yeah. Okay, so I think I'll set it there. Buy a picture frame for it. Buy a picture frame for it. Are you seriously not going to buy a picture frame for it? Are we just going to be that way about it? I don't want to end up losing this picture. There we go. Well, we'll just leave it as it is. Um, we are not adding a baby name because I have not decided on a name yet. I um, probably will not... like In, in my previous um, version of this challenge, I did try to name based on their generation and what they, you know, had to accomplish. Oh, I did buy the frames. They just... <laughs> Whoops. I was buying all the frames. Okay. There we go. That's better. Okay, we can go ahead and sell these. But Anyway, I, in previous generations, was, or in previous version of the challenge, was naming them based on what the generation needed to accomplish or you know, their color or things like that. And they were all um, gemstone based colors at that time. Um, oh, we completed the geode collection too. Holy cow. Okay. I I didn't even think we were doing that well with the geode collection, but excellent. Okay, that's a, that's a match. The geode collection is either not that big or I don't have them all displayed here. Oh, it's not that big. We just have six of them. And they are all there. Six from six of them. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> I'm just, I'm so frazzled right now for some reason, but um, I'm excited about that, that we're, that we have the baby coming next time. And I think I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Make sure to visit the blog if you have not to find out what happened before this, but also if you subscribe to the blog, you will get notifications when I post there. So then you will get those updates sent right to your email. And I will be probably posting... Um, I probably will not be posting in between this time because I know that there's too much of a chance that we're going to end this... or this pregnancy will end. And I want to actually record the baby shower because it will be the first time I've actually ever done a baby shower in the game. So I want to catch that on camera and have that as a whole episode where we have the baby shower and the baby arrives and all of it next time. 
Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please consider taking a moment to paw that like button and subscribe for more of this mediocre content. And uh, just in case anyone hasn't let you know yet today, I want to make sure that you're aware that you are perfect just the way you are. I saw that you were perfect And so I loved you But now I realize It was all just smoke and mirrors I was blinded by the lights Caught up in a fantasy I saw that you were perfect But you're not what you see